for Netbook News and this is Colin Briggs from Gigabyte and we're down here at the headquarters and we're going to learn a little bit about the iPad and charging. So Colin's going to walk us through this amazing setup down here that looks very fancy. Yes, this is our, our Apple testing lab at the Gigabyte headquarters. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I want to first show you a traditional motherboard. This is our uh, P55 based motherboard. So this is an older motherboard model. And I just want to show you that, obviously, as I showed in the last video, it's not able to charge the iPad device. So not charging. Traditional motherboard, again, will output 0 0.5 um, amps of power. This is not enough to charge the, the iPad. And of course, it goes without saying that when you shut down your device, it also will not charge your device. So traditional motherboard powers off, no charge. No charge. So Gigabyte, we developed a new technology that we've just launched, and it's called on-off charge. Um, basically, on-off charge, uh, as you can see right here, we've got these little pin header ports. Um, these are USB pin headers, and you can connect them to the front of your PC, so you'll have front USB ports. And basically, this feature allows you to charge your Apple device, whether your PC is turned on or off. So right now, this PC is starting up. We've got way too many power meters here. <laughs> but as you can see, this is the front port um, that's connected to the on-off charge. show it as soon as Windows starts up. So as you can see, it is charging. And this is a quick charge, so 0, point, or 0 0.5 amps is what the traditional motherboard outputs, and we're at 1.18 or 1.9. So that's very close to what you would get from the actual wall plug. Uh, um, so the main key feature of this technology is that it'll also allow you to charge your device when the PC is turned off. Wrong mouse. <laughs> too many power meters, too many mice. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> OK, so we'll shut down. We'll unplug. So PC is turned off, plug it back in, and we'll see what happens. It's charging, and it's charging at 0 0.93. So again, this is more power than you would get from a traditional motherboard, and plus, the PC is turned off. So even with a traditional motherboard, PC is powered off, of course you're not going to be able to charge. So can you explain to me a little bit about the Apple architecture of why of how you guys were able to make this happen, because I can't actually charge my touch on, my, on, on many of my netbooks. So each device, of course, is, has its own power controller, um, and it basically tells the PC how much power um, it requests for charging. So each Apple device has its own controller, um, and it, it'll feed that information to the PC. And basically what we've done is we've um, used a hardware solution, also part software solution, that um, if the device tells us it wants more power, we can provide it for it. So basically, all these other devices, the Touch, the iPhone, um, will charge using our on-off charge, whether the PC is turned on or off. All right. Thanks, Colin. Sure.